Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Cancer. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the remaining of the month. Oh wow, alrighty. All right, Cancers, you guys have Leo, Aries, and Gemini energy. You may be dealing with, uh, you may be dealing with a Leo, and Aries, or a Gemini for the remaining of this month. This could be a person of your interest, or this could be the energy that you take on or that you need to embrace. Now, you also do have, for those of you guys that are currently single, you're definitely having your eyes on someone, um, someone that really pushes your envelope. This is a person that is not necessarily the type that you usually go for. Now, we have the lover's card here, and this is Leo energy. So this is expression. I feel that for some of you guys, this person intimidates you. Um, we have Aries energy here, but doesn't necessarily mean that that's their sign. It could just represent that that's how you're viewing them. And this is the radical type of energy. This is a person that is very daring, very fierce. And with the complexity card here, I feel that you're definitely seeing them as like they definitely catch your attention but you may be a little bit intimidated by them you don't really know how to approach them now you also have trying here which is flow this is talking about um it aids us enriches us it, it's a benefit basically it's energies that are ben uh, benevolent to you or that are trying to guide you now you also have the gemini card here now for some of you guys, like I said, for those of you guys that are currently single and you know exactly who I'm talking about, this person that is really fierce, very daring, um, very, you know, the opposite of what you're usually attracted to. Um, what they're saying here is that for this connection, and I do see this evolving, but what they're saying here is that you need to embrace the energy of that of Gemini. So Gemini is an air sign, but this is all to do with communication. So you have to speak up. Cancer, you have to let them know or, you know, basically um, embrace this new beginning and throw yourself out there. Like literally jump in the pool. Don't like tiptoe, uh, tippy toe or whatever the hell you say that around the pool. Just take a leap of faith and jump like wholeheartedly into it because I do see communication and I do see progress in this connection. And here's the thing, what I'm seeing is, I'm, sh I'm being shown, I'm being shown like white and black and then gray in the middle, but the black, the black and the white are vibrating like majorly. So what they're telling me is that with this person, there's no in between. Either you let them know that you're interested or you don't, you will miss this opportunity. I hope that makes sense. Now with the second house here, this is all to do with partnerships. This is speaking about the material world, but you know, uh, house of number two is to do with assets, with financial growth, with all to do with um, the material, finances, etc. But it also speaks about partnerships. So again, uh, I do see that this can actually progress into something uh, very stable. And, and, I, and I, sound, I sound very like hesitant because I feel that your energy is like very passive right now. Like, like you don't know what to do. You may be shying away from this person. But they're like telling me no, like cancer needs to like, you know, take a leap of faith and trust themselves because this is going to be this connection is going to be very beneficial for you cancer i feel that this person can either motivate you um really allow you to figure out and embrace the process of figuring out what it is exactly that you want that it gets you to the point where be, you're going to become very focused or very goal oriented and it's because of this person i feel them very like this is a, a person that doesn't take any shit this is a person that knows exactly what they want and they go after it and i feel that them coming into your life with that type of energy is not only going to benefit you it's going to actually help you because it's going to help you come out of your shell so definitely embrace that now for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship 
there's a lot of things that you guys are currently working through. Uh, and one of them is to understand that there is a need for you to have a nurturing partner, someone that is loving, that is caring. This brings out the best in you, Cancer. But I feel that the person or your partner, the one that you are currently with, um, may be very focused and consumed in their own life or in their pursuits that they've kind of grown or pulled away from this relationship. So at the end of September, I see you guys having that conversation where you guys are trying to figure out where do we go from here or can we even fix this um, because there is like there is this immense energy of the partner being very focused and wanting to achieve or wanting to continue achieving and I feel that you've either grown complacent or you're not pushing yourself enough. And it's getting to the point where you feel or there may be a need to communicate because you're suppressing what you truly feel or the fact that maybe you feel lonely or maybe you feel like they're not giving you enough attention. Um, and that conversation will come up sometime in the end of September. Now, the energy is currently influencing you at the moment, Cancer, is gifted, innocence, and mediumship. Gifted is something that there are hidden talents in you cancer and if if you are currently being pulled or very attracted to a specific person that perhaps either is very spiritually inclined or they have certain gifts that perhaps not a normal person would possess um and, th and that could be one of the reasons that has grown very intriguing to you Innocence is representing to me the energy that you're coming into this connection with. So there is an intriguing type of energy. There is an innocence to you. And that's the reason why they're telling me I feel you like intimidated by them. I'm not sure what it is exactly that intimidates you. It could be their personality. Um, but I feel that, again, this person is definitely going to bring you um, a lot of benefit because what they bring to the table is very enriching and it's not just on the physical uh it's not just on the financial side because i feel that this person is amazing at making money but i feel that it has more to do with tapping into yourself and them helping you or showing you how beautiful of a human you are that it helps you rebuild the confidence in you and medianship open yourself up cancer because i do see you guys being very intuitively pulled towards situations people or opportunities that may be coming to you for the remaining of the month so listen to that intuition i hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon bye